right? Peace to the true ones. It is so much that I can talk to you guys about right now. Um, Because a lot is happening. Like I said, it's time to wrap this shit up. And there's all kinds of things going on. Rituals taking place to show you the truth. Okay? It's all kinds of symbolism and all kinds of things to tell you, like, what's coming. Like, it has been really for a while. But seeing how we're headed into divine completion, they're going to show you, they're going to start showing you divine completion. Because I'm I'm telling you, the they like whether you think that they're doing certain things, God still is in control of all of this shit, and certain things have to be shown to you on purpose. Okay, so um, this man, um, Jared Allen, okay, um, he played for many teams, okay, and his number is 69, right? Let me show y'all something. His number is 69. What I tell y'all, flip them nines one more time, that's six. Watch me shift. Hope y'all ready because we're here. And, of course, 69 is just six by itself, right? Because, remember, nines are zeros, but it's the flip. And you see a lot of Gemini shit going on right now, too, right? Um, Even with Kanye West, you see some Gemini shit going on. And um, Tupac was a Gemini, and I told you, Tupac is working on our behalf. The true one's behalf, let me say that. And I even sent him to a certain individual that I told y'all about to let her know what's about to happen to her. But anyway, and Tupac is a Gemini, right? So this energy is real, real strong right now because this is divine completion. We wrapping this shit up. But I want to show y'all some things because um, it says Minnesota Vikings. He played for them, 69 Chicago Bears, like in. Two of my favorite football teams is on here, the Chicago Bears and the, and the Chiefs, okay? and Plus, these things mean stuff, you know what I mean? Like, the Viking energy, okay, warrior energy, okay? Then we got the Bears, then we got the Chiefs, all right, and the Panthers. Now, let me show you something. I think I showed y'all this picture before, okay, a while ago, right? Okay. This picture represents me and my shape-shifting abilities, right? You see the bear. I made the video about the feet like like a bear the other day. Um, I'm like an oxen or a bull. I got these horns, okay? We talked about my horns already, all right, and the beast. Look, it's red all around them like me. Like, you got the, that wolf energy, the eagle. I got the feather, you know what I mean? You know how Osiris wore a feather, Um. Because he's justice, okay? He wore the feather and my waited, okay? That's why, you know, you see um, Osiris' crown is a feather in there, okay? That all this stuff means things. And then, um, so, there's no coincidence this picture is in red because that's the beast. And I'm indigenous to this land. I told y'all where my tribe started, Yazoo Tribe, Mississippi, I'm related to Muddy Waters. That's where my great that's where my great great grandmother was born. Um and our lineage goes back all the way to Yazoo. You know what I mean? And I still got my great grandmother's hair to prove who I am. And you, you can match her hair and my hair. We can go back. But Yazoo was massacred. That's why a lot of shit started happening in Mississippi. Okay, all that shit started happening in Mississippi because that my family owns that. Like in this life, in this bloodline, my that's my family's territory. Like the, just the uh, royal bloodline I was born into in this lifetime. And I told you the Yazoo broke off into some Choctaw and Seminole. Okay, and that's that's deep too with the Seminole down there in Florida. So you can understand a little more about what's going on. But this picture is prophetic. And, it's, and like they're showing you the work and it all like Vikings, bears, chiefs, panthers. OK, all the things that, you know, the animals I've been shaping, shape shifting into. And then, you know, the warrior energy with the chiefs and the, um, the Vikings. Right. So his number is 69. Right. Look at this ritual they got him. And remember, who did I tell you? Is on the the um the four, who did I tell you was the four horsemen of the apocalypse um like four four months ago five months ago I told y'all uh, I represent the red horse the war horse right I take peace from earth and slaughter the wicked with my great sword that was given unto me okay um 
the black horse, well, the red horse is the great father. The black horse is the great mother, right? And she come to bring justice and judge, right? And then you got the pale horse, which is, and I told you is really like a greenish color with, with a gold mane, right? And these, remember, these horses are also dragons, right? They represent dragons in Revelations too. So, and I told you who was right now horse. And then the um, fourth horse is the white horse, which is the conqueror, the conqueror, the conquering horse, okay? And it's crazy how Alexis K. Tyler over there manipulating the energy, talking about the white horse and how uh, I'm not even going to repeat what she said because it's a total lie. You know what I mean? A lot of people's talking about the same thing I've been talking about way before they started talking about it, but they twisting all kinds of shit. You know what I mean? To make it their own, but they all about to die fucking around. <laughs> I can't even tell you what's about to go down, going down there. <laughs> that lady, Alexa Kate Tyler, is stupid for fucking with, well, well, fucking with uh, Nipsey's energy like she is. And many people try to warn her. You fucking with a doppelganger. She don't even know. She don't even correctly identify Nipsey you know, Ermi is as who he truly is in spirit and in soul. She think that he's Osiris and he's not. I'm Os Osiris. Nipsey, I keep telling y'all Nipsey is Yeshua. That's why he's on the white horse. And then she over there saying Lauren London doing something with the white horse energy and saying that the white horse is represents death. And that's not true. The white horse is the conqueror. <laughs> the death horse is the uh, pale horse and the red horse because they bring war and sickness. You know what I mean? So, um, and then the black horse represents judgment. And I told y'all we on our way into, you know, um, divine completion and I'm going to give the verdict and you're going to see my wife pop out cause she's the great mother and her horse is black. So they're telling you judgment day is coming, but they got this white man on it, but it's representing my energy though. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're telling you, you know, like judgment is coming and these numbers are synced up in it like really judgment is here already that's why these people dying but they're showing you like the the final day the verdict is coming that's why they got him riding this black horse but with my energy on it you know what i mean so it's like the great mother and great father intertwined together because they had to put the male there and then the, the black horse represents the great mother right because that's the justice horse you know what i mean the rider on the justice horse and the four horsemen of the apocalypse but look at this look at this and remember the, all the energies I just said that he had on him. And then look at the score, though. What was the score? Look, look you see, I see the score. 14 and 10, that's a 6. 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6. And the Vikings is 5 and 1, that's a 6. And then the Cardinals is 3 and 4, that's a 7, yo. 7 spirits. See how they know? I told you, they know who me and my wife is. They know what's going on. They just Y'all just don't know. The public don't. You know what I mean? And then, y'all, like... Now that a lot of y'all are getting upgrades and awakening more and you can tap in and you can know on your own, nobody got to come and tell you, but then they got people out here distracting you and taking my energy and twisting it. Just, they're doing the same thing the government has always done to our information and our truth. They take our information, our knowledge, and then twist it into their own shit. You got people that you think is your family but they really not they like the ops you know what i mean and they take the energy and twist it into their own um what they want it to mean instead of the truth and they call it their truth and but it's not the truth there's only one truth but you see he came in riding on this big old horse and you got people talking about horse everything that i've already talked about everybody's talking about now they so late and then they twisting the shit they in trouble these people look 15 seconds that's another six they um they twisting everything yo and look, it says Allen spent all well. Allen spent six seasons with the Vikings after being traded to Minnesota in 2008. He earned three All-Pro honors and was a four-time Pro pick. Okay, and um, so, so look, it was six seasons with the Vikings. This is all a part of the ritual, but it's revealing God at the same time. Like they have to tell you the truth, but they're gonna try and put their own little twist on it. You know what I mean? And you have to come up here and see what it is for yourself and understand everything that I've been telling you. It's not a coincidence. I've been telling you about the sixes and the nines and all that, and see how they're using it, because this is the revelation of God. It's being revealed to you, and they got to show you, too. This shit is off the chain. There's so much I can tell you about a lot of things. I don't even want to mention it because I might not say nothing about what I want to talk about. Um, but I wanted to come on here real quick and show you all this. All right. And um, he's riding on a black horse of justice and judgment. 
Mayat's horse, the great mother, with the six and the nine to represent like the unity, symbolizing the unity of the great mother and great father. Okay, like they become one. It's the unification of the queendom and kingdom. Okay, that's why they put the male on a black horse to intertwine the masculine and feminine energy. Okay, but it's a lot going on, y'all, and they're telling you, yo. And this is after Diwali when I told you it's the victory of um, good over evil. This is like it was five days from the 24th to the 29th. We celebrated Diwali. That's why I had that cake and I um, cracked that cake open. OK, because it was the last day of Diwali in the celebration. So we we had the rainbow cake. OK, because we're going to rainbow country, the city of peace in the celebration of divine completion. Um, of good over evil, the victory of good over evil. And they tell you what's next. The verdict is coming. The last day of judgment. So I had to come on here and show and tell y'all that real quick. And um, show y'all this energy. I got the seeds in my hand, yo. I got the seeds in my hand, yo. I got the seeds in my hand, man. I got the, and look, you see the six behind me? But my whole address which is on the internet already. It equals eight where I live now. Um, the house I live now. But yeah, I just came on here to um, let y'all know what's up, man. They showing you every which way. Let me make sure I ain't, wait, hold on. Let me make sure I ain't uh, miss nothing real quick. Let me see his number. Oh, and he's in the ring of honor, which is the, the best of the best, which is what the great one. The great mother and great father. Okay. The greatest. The goat. Okay. That's what Jared. He's um. Said the Vikings ring of honor. So. You know. This was today. This is going on all at the same time. When everything is wrapping up. And it was important for me to come on here and show y'all all that real quick. I just want to let y'all know it's a lot. It's stuff I want to tell you, but I can't because the odds be watching me and they be taking everything I say and twisting it and using it into their own shit. Like they, these motherfuckers is the gov. They the they the new government. <laughs> okay. Oh man, they the new government. These motherfuckers is crazy. But um, yeah, I just came. I just come on here to show y'all this real quick. Divine completion. You know, it's here. And, um, remember, don't fail the test, man. Because remember, nobody thought that the that you know God was coming back or the world was in it. It was like a thief in the night. Like everybody, like they knew, but they like, man, it ain't, it ain't it's taking too long. You know what I mean? Like, it, you know, everybody started to feel like it would never happen. And then, like a thief in the night, boom, it happened. That's man. Let me tell you, man. Let me tell you, God is magnificent. God is the greatest. Never, ever doubt God, yo. Peace to the true ones.